Let's welcome Congressman Tim Bircher from House Oversight. It's good to see you, sir. Thanks for joining us again on the show. Okay, this you, news man. breaking. Uh, House Oversight Chair James Comer, House Judiciary Chair Jordan subpoenaed former White House Counsel Dana Remus for testimony on the president's mishandling of classified documents. Is this about whether President Biden held on to U.S. secrets related to countries where his family made millions of dollars in profits from business deals cashing in on his government job. Is, is, are there, is this what this is about, the links, possible links there? Yes, ma'am, I think so. As you know, it's, it's, it's excess of $20 million that the Biden family has received from all these countries. And of course, the latest uh, direct tie-in with, with communist China. So I think it's, a, it's imperative that we get Dana before the the committee and, and answer some questions because, as you know, they found them at the Biden Penn Center and, um, you know, they sent in a, uh, an assault team basically to get President Trump with his documents and this one they've just, uh, they've, the, the Justice Department is, as always, it's a, it's a two-tiered system. Yeah, a lawsuit found via Freedom of Information documents, there were 85,000, 85,000 pages where then Vice President Biden used three, at least three fake uh, email accounts, pseudonyms, to communicate. So I think you guys only got a fraction of those emails, though, right? That's correct, yes, ma'am. And, um, and there again, we kind of get roadblocks up that, and, but Chairman Comer and, and Chairman Jordan are very specific in what they're asking for, and I think they know. And I think we, 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 uh, we're closing in on this pretty, pretty quickly. So that would be a real danger zone, right? It would be the connection between the president's, the former vice president, Biden's foreign policy <laughs> positions and initiatives, and with how the Biden family profited in countries where the family made millions of dollars, and whether or yes. not U.S. foreign policy was affected, right? Yes, ma'am. Well, you see the vice president visiting the, when he was vice president, of course, and his son was going along. Then, lo and behold, he ends up on a board of a troubled or a crime-ridden uh, corporation in that country. And then, uh, and then again, lo and behold, they're meeting with the vice president, which and now he's, uh, he, um, of course, he repeatedly claimed that he had no, no, no conversations or anything. And now we're seeing it all tie in with the money and with the meetings and with the timeline and with... Um, and with the foreign policy, so there's there's a clear tie in there, ma'am, and it's um it's pretty obvious what's going on, and it's it's what's really disgusting about it though is the Justice Department repeatedly has their head in the sand and refuses to do anything, and I you know I go back to the Al Capone defense, you know Al Capone did a lot of awful things, but they didn't ended up getting him on tax evasion. Where is the tax records on this 24 million dollars, and have they in fact allowed the, the the statute of limitations to pass so that it can no longer get to it? So those are some questions that really need to be answered. Is it your sense that the closer, you know, the House impeachment chairs and the probe, the closer it gets to the Biden family, the more vocal Hunter Biden and his legal team are in trying to get, for example, subpoenas shut down from House lawmakers? Yes, ma'am, I think they know we've got him. I think he knows he's cornered, and that's what he's doing exactly. And that's why you're seeing a lot of Democrats now. Um, so one of them, a friend of mine in Congress, a Democrat, has announced his candidacy for president. I suspect you'll see a lot more. You'll see the, uh, the governor of California dusting his resume off as well. That's why you're seeing people jump ship all over the place. And, and the criticism, which was once hushed, is now, is now kind of out in the open with some of our, our colleagues in the Democrat caucus. So this is ratcheting up. Final word. Yes, ma'am, it is completely ratcheting up. They know we got them. We've got the best chairman in the world that are after him, and they know they got them, and, they, and I believe this, this is what will, will lead to the impeachment. Okay, Congressman Burchett, and by the way, Jim Jordan, I think, says that could possibly move by uh, early next year. Thank you for joining us. Yes,